Welcome back to GTU. Okay, I don't know how I got so lucky, but last time our girl Charlotte was on the show, you had your new cookbook. Yes. You were talking about it. You were so nice to give us all a copy. I flipped it open. I saw a recipe for curry pot pie, and I freaked out. I said, Charlotte, could you please make that on the show at some point? Oh, there it is. There it is. Yes. And it was like, how can I say no to you? When you tell me this is your dream food, like I'm gonna make, I'm gonna deliver. Charlotte I'm gonna said make this. It was fate that I flipped to that page and she brought it today. Okay. Yes. I feel like a pot pie is kind of an intimidating thing to make. It's kind of a, a special thing. You don't get it often. How easy is this recipe? It's, it's special. It's kind of semi homemade, but it's so easy. Like. The sauce is from scratch, and it's honestly the easiest thing. We don't need to be putting canned cream soup in our chicken pot pie. We're gonna make it from scratch, and once you make it like this, you're never gonna go back. You'll okay? never do it again. Okay. So first, we're gonna make a roux. Okay. Have you ever made a roux? No. I've only okay. heated up bean burritos in the okay. microwave. Roux is just fat and flour, and it's a thickener for sauces. So today, we're gonna start. Our fat today is butter. We're gonna start with just a little bit of butter. And then you add your flour in there, and it's gonna kind of make a paste, okay? Now you could also do like um, drippings from meat, like when you make gravy and you know with Yum. sausage, that yes. kind of thing. But today we're just gonna use some butter and flour and see how that turns into kind of a paste. Yeah. Okay. And quickly. Yes, that very, very quickly. Yeah. Then we're gonna add some fresh garlic. So we have some fresh elements, we have some dried elements, but it just all works, okay? Then we're gonna add, so that's about two to three cloves of fresh garlic. Then we're gonna add in, this is one of my favorite ingredients, it's bouillon base. This is a chicken, okay. and it smell. I mean, smell that. It's like roasted chicken Delicious. perfection. It's a little Thanksgiving meal I in hardly, a jar. Yeah, I hardly ever buy like canned broth anymore. I just make it with this. Really? Like a little hot water and some bouillon base, and you have like the most amazing Broth. Okay, wait, I okay. had to ask you though, what gave you the idea to make a curry flavored pot pie? Because that seems unusual, but it is just yeah. so right when so, you take a bite of it. I know, right? So I've made this pot pie without the curry for years and years and years. And I've just, I like to change things up. And one time I was making it and I was like, what else would be good in this? And I added curry and it just changed everything. My family will not, they're, they're like, did you put curry in it? Like, we have to have the curry now. Now they demand it yes. because it's that good. Yes. So to the pasty roux, we're gonna add our curry. Okay. So this is just three-fourths of a teaspoon. Um, you can start out small. If you don't like curry, you can leave You can leave it out. But I'm telling you, it's so good. And it's not yeah. overpowering. It's not. So some curry, some salt, some pepper, okay? I love the smell of okay. all of that that's right? happening. It's just yes. so good. This is also a really good base to, like you don't have to use chicken. You can use ham, like leftover ham from the holidays. You can use leftover turkey. What's your favorite way? What's your favorite meat? Or do you like it all? Rotisserie chicken. Matter. So you which see it's like semi-homemade because I'm gonna use, I use rotisserie chicken, which makes it easier. Saves you a step. Yep. And so we're gonna put that, so we put about a, one and a half cups of water in there. We're gonna turn this up, way up, because we want it to boil. So to the pasty roux, you add your liquid, you stir, you bring it to a boil, and it will turn into the most luscious, perfect, creamy sauce. So this is basically the hardest part of the yes. recipe, the, the part that but requires was that hard? the most That work. was not hard. Not it's at all. It's so easy. You just have to know your ratios, You know, uh, look at your recipes, make sure you do the right amount of fat for the flour, for the liquid. And it all comes together. But I love how you said it's you know the best of both worlds because you are doing this part, yes. but then the veggies are going to be easy. The right. rotisserie chicken's easy. Yes. Frozen veggies? Yes, I use just the frozen mixed veggies. You can also do potato. You'd want to cook it part way before you do it. So you could do potato, you can do your own veggies, cut up some carrots, however you want to do it. But I like I like shortcuts when I can. I like to have simple food like this that has like flavor bomb ingredients like curry and Absolutely. garlic and the bouillon, but then kind of do some shortcuts with the other things. You're my girl. Okay, so we have about a minute left. Yep. So let's so say would, that's ready. Yep, so then this what? would thicken up. You add your veggies, your chicken, mix it together and put it in your pie crust, which is another shortcut. If you want to make your own pie crust, go for it. It's so easy to do, but Pillsbury makes a great pie crust. Well, <laughs> so there you go. That's what I use today, and you're gonna just fill, put your filling in here, put your top on, bake it, 
This works great for a freezer meal too. You can freeze it unbaked. It's so fun. This so is all easy. I want to eat for every meal now. Okay, can I tell them the secret? You yes. served us up a little yes. piece before the segment. Yes. It's already almost gone. <laughs> so I had already tried it, and it's delicious. Thank you. I mean, my favorite. I was excited since last night. I almost couldn't even sleep because I was so excited. Let's tell everybody where to follow you and get your cookbook. Yes, so you can follow my blog at charlotteshares.blog. That's also where my shop is, where you can purchase my cookbook. I'm also on Instagram and TikTok at charlotte.shares. Follow her for all the things, mm -hmm. get her cookbook, and make this curry chicken pot pie. Oh my goodness, thank you for making my favorite ever. Of course. So good. We will be right back with more GTU <laughs> right after this.